got some coronavirus questions here from our viewers. Let's make that turn and let's start with the first one here. Someone saying I've read some vaccine trial participants have experienced side effects. What's the latest on clinical trials? So some numbers here, you guys. First of all, there are at least eight developers that are right now in phase three clinical trials. There are at least 36 in human trials worldwide, and there are at least 146 developers trying to make a vaccine. So safety data, efficacy data, obviously those are the two most important things. In terms of safety, uh, we have some evidence so far that there are some mild side effects that we see typically with any kind of vaccine. So redness around the injection site, some mild headache, some low grade temperature, again, viral syndrome like picture mild, but the safety data when it is fully released will be key. All right. And what if any concerns are there for President Trump's health over the next few days? Amy, I want to be crystal clear. You see doctors and hear doctors all over the media this week speculating about the president's medical condition. The only doctors who know for sure about what the next days might entail for President Trump with respect to COVID-19 are his personal physicians. In general, for the average person, we know that this is a virus that you have to track in days and weeks and months. So literally, you're going to be keeping a close eye on anyone with COVID-19, particularly severe COVID-19. All right, and a lot of people at the White House, they're going to have to keep an eye on for a little while now. Uh, Doc, thank you so much. Anybody have questions? You can submit them to Dr. Jen on her Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.